Felix Trinidad was best known for his vicious left hook. At the elite level, punches simply don't land by accident, for the most part. It's all about the setup. Boxing is a sequence of engagements and disengagements. The punch that you see landed are often set up by prior engagements. Four, one even, 103, 100, Felix Tito Trinidad. Jim, there's no question, out of the last four rounds, Tito Trinidad is released. Down goes Vargas. Here's a sequence of two engagements, which will result in a knockout. Trinidad is going to engage with the three-punch combination. Jab, faint jab to the body to drop Vargas Hain, and back upstairs with the right cross. So this is where the setup begins. Trinidad, who just landed a flush right on Vargas, is going to re-engage again without any breaks. Vargas, who is fresh off of just having a right cross landing on him, will refuse to allow Trinidad to land another right cross on him directly after. So what does Trinidad do? Trinidad shows the right cross just to get Vargas to slip to the outside. Then he unleashes the left hook just as Vargas brings his head back to the center line. So to recap how he set up the left hook, the initial engagement, Trinidad goes off on a three-piece combination. Jab, faint jab to the body, right cross upstairs, lanes flush. The right cross is actually the setup for the second engagement. Now with the right cross, fresh on Vargas' mind, Trinidad does a throwaway right cross to get Vargas to move his head to the outside and unleashes the left hook to lane just as Vargas moves his head back to the center line. Also as a note, Trinidad was not trying to lane with the right cross. He put it out there as a throwaway punch. He didn't sit on it. He didn't overextend. He used it as a throwaway punch to get Vargas to slip to the outside just so he could use his left hook to meet Vargas' head when it met back at the center line.